Hello everyone, welcome back to Dungeon Quest. This game has been the most popular game for almost, like what, five to seven days now, which is insane. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to get the legendary drops because your girl here was so lucky to find out the information on how to get all of the legendaries and very, very fast as well. So let's jump straight into the video. kind of changed a lot since you last saw me a few days ago so now i'm currently rocking my new firebomb spell my aura of life i'm using some elite mage plate armor and ancient plate helmet but the best thing i am rocking today is my brand new crystallized great sword with a physical damage of 1094 and a spell damage of 2447 I have also gained up quite a few levels. <laughs> I am now level 56 and I have a ton of coin and my inventory is almost completely full of spells. The spells that are in my inventory right now I will be giving away very very soon on my live stream this weekend so make sure you come to my live stream at I think 7pm EST American time. I will be live streaming some dungeon quests, we'll be going through that and we'll be going and like getting you guys from level 1 to hopefully level 20 throughout that and trying to give you guys some levels obviously so yes legendaries what you're all here for in the title obviously this game doesn't have any cards doesn't have any updates as of yet so what am I doing on here <laughs> I'm doing a tips and tricks on how to get legendaries because this great sword is an amazing sword and super super OP for either a mage or even a tank there are two versions of you can do this you can obviously level up your mage side or your melee 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 side however you want to pronounce that word but you can level up either one to be amazing and great stats so obviously how do you get legendaries so if you didn't know in dungeons we have multiple different modes so if we have the desert temple we have easy medium hard insane and nightmare and then we also have the same in the winter outpost as well obviously we're gonna start in the desert one so you can actually go on nightmare mode and that is where the legendaries drop only this is like information that I just found out if you're level 27 above you have a great chance of getting uh, legendaries even if you are level 50 like me just go and grind through the desert temples and you will get tons of legendaries I got two legendaries within my 27 to 30 levels and it was crazy obviously they're not like the best legendaries but they are better than the average weapon especially if you have a while to level up and you can also do hardcore mode to get one life only but you receive two times the loot obviously it's just the best in any sort of scenario but we have winter hardcore mode and nightmare mode which gives you the best of the best drops I was fortunate enough on my first nightmare mode in a the winter outpost I ended up getting my sword uh, there is a ton of people that have legendaries I think there's currently two or three legendaries in the game I think there's two melee and one mage this is basically my mage stat uh, <laughs> mainly uh, I don't think I have anything on my skills I have 17 physical power 30 spell power and 8 stamina obviously I can reset that to put my spell power higher but I like having the difference between physical and spell just in case I do actually need to use my strength in this game unfortunately it happens quite a lot a lot of people just either leave dungeons or they die and it's it's been laggy so we're gonna jump into a few games and we're gonna see if we can get the loot that we want obviously <laughs> but there is no guarantee that we will be able to get it this is just the modes where you can get it and so you can see the type of difficulty they are so let's jump into it and we have liftoff no matter how many times that I see that introduction like the teleport I love it. The particles, the the sound, just everything is so satisfying in that. So we are currently doing the Desert Temple Insane mode. Uh, obviously, I 
kind of did hardcore and I kind of didn't do hardcore at the same time. I tried both versions and I just got better loot doing hardcore so I just continue that. So I am very, very overpowered in this as you can see. I basically one shot everything except for the buffs. I have tried this multiple times. Unfortunately, some people do die and I didn't do that much of a good job at healing. I mainly play as a mage though, so you've got to remember that. I have been trying to switch it up, seeing what it is like with me being a tank. I am not the best. <laughs> I have a lot of lag and my ping obviously being from Australia, so yeah. Me, lag, tank, don't work. I die a lot, tried it. So me and my friends have been trying to use me as a mage, obviously. This is kind of a voiceover here at the moment because I did multiple multiple matches to try and get one that was like a perfect kind of run through obviously <laughs> it was really really cool because some of you guys actually joined my game and people were like wait is she real oh my goodness wait what is she really playing with me right now is she a fake is she a star program a lot of people called me a guy i really wish i could have like different skin options for this like i would love to have my skin obviously it doesn't work with the type of like body build but at the same time i wouldn't mind that i <laughs> I would just like some diff diff differentiating between us, especially because I get called a guy a lot. It's like, sir, can I have a sword? I'm not a sir, I am a ma'am, or a miss, or girl, or woman, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> it's very confusing, obviously, to some people. And I have to say, I have maybe been flexing on my friends a little bit. Maybe. If you see my Twitter, I flexed on your face, uh, who is a YouTuber. He's actually really, really good at Pokemon Brick Bronze, and he's always been better at me in every single game. And I finally beat him in this game. He was like level 20, and I was like, I'm level 40. And then he's like, yeah, well, I bet you can't one-shot it. And I'm like, you want to bet? So I went away, and I tried it. I one-shot it. And then I did it on Nightmare Mode, and I got my legendary sword. Crazy, huh? <laughs> I, I never have luck with games, you guys know this. It's very rare that I have good luck, and when I do, that's it for the next year. <laughs> After the next year, it's like, not nah, done, gone, sorry, no more good luck for you. You use it all up on this one thing that you didn't even mean to use it up on. If I could use it up on anything, though, I would use it on plane flights going down. <laughs> Because if you didn't know, I just recently got my new passport photos done because your girl wants to head overseas. She wants to go back to America or she wants to go to England or she wants to go to Japan. She just wants to go somewhere. So I got to save up for that. I did want to go to VidCon 10, obviously, since it is the 10th year. And I have been for three years over in the US. It's amazing. I love it there. It's just financially, I don't know if I'll make it there in June, July. But I also might be going over for the Roblox Developer Conference uh, with the company. They may be taking me out there. So I'm super excited for that possibly happening within the next few months. Uh, if anyone knows what RDC is, please tell me. I would like some hints so I know how much I need to save and how quickly I need to save it. <laughs> that would be very, very highly appreciated but look at this guys we're almost at the boss room right now so my strategy for this is get everything away from everyone else uh get them all in my circle murder them with my circle and then heal up because <laughs> i have like almost three thousand health it just really sucks that when people lead them away i'm like no but the circle of death was right there and you could have like had them all gone handled with easy done but I guess everyone else wants a fair shot at this type of game too, but a lot of people enjoy me carrying them. <laughs> Especially like someone will be like level one and I just finish it in like a second and then they're like, oh, wow, thank you for the carry. <laughs> a lot of people actually aren't appreciating people carry them at the moment. It's like, I just trying to help. Please let me help. Like this right here, perfect. Everyone was in the circle, everyone died. We unlocked the next room. It's just a bit laggy. <laughs> Opening the doors are laggy, and so is actually like doing spells. If you have more than one spell active at once, it will start to lag. I learned that from first-hand experience. But look at this, I took down half the boss before anyone else even touched it. That is how OP my weapon is right now. Obviously, I need to level up my spell power more and get better like, like armor and stuff, but that is all good. Obviously, we didn't get it, and this we got a poisonous cloud and a weapon there, so not the best, not the worst, but let's move on to the winter one. So, the winter one. I tried this ten times. 
<laughs> I had people quit on me. I had people keep me like lagging. They would equip like two or three things at once and they would like exploit and I just couldn't get this one gosh darn round correct. This was the one round that was correct out of all of them. Obviously I can speed run this as well, which is amazing. I didn't think I could speed run this. Honestly couldn't. I I went through like the first room and I was like, wait, what? I one hit them? I thought they were like two, three hits, but no, they were one hit. It wasn't actually half bad in my experience. <laughs> So, yes, I really do want to start streaming this game. I may stream it tomorrow, I'm not sure. It's just during the weekdays, it's very, very busy, obviously, as I am Australian, so everyone is at school at my time, and then Americans, and <sighs> a lot goes crazy very, very quickly on my schedule, and then I feel like I should stream more than for more than an hour, and then I kind of stream for like four hours, and then I don't eat, and then I mostly <laughs> get off my computer for like 10 minutes, I get a cup of tea, and then I'm back on my computer preparing for a video, recording a video, editing a video, making a thumbnail, rendering a video, uploading a video. <sighs> Some people actually ask me how long does it take to make a video? It can range between an hour to 16 hours. <laughs> Especially when it's a game like this and you have to grind for levels and you have to get to a certain type of content, like obviously today is legendary talk, so yeah. <laughs> One of the biggest things that I've noticed as well is legendaries are um, an amazing weapon, but not always the best to use in certain situations. Like obviously I'm not a tank, so I probably should have a more of a mage weapon that actually like does stuff with more spell power, obviously, but um, sorry. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to flex this on you. It was, it's an amazing find. I didn't think that we would find something like this as soon as we did uh like my friend andrew is like level 78 and he hasn't gotten a legendary drop at all like for someone that's level 78 you would think that they would get the legendary drop no they didn't i i feel really bad and i feel like if i get legendary he should be the first one that i give it to but i don't know i don't know i don't know so yeah <laughs> Oh my goodness, this this dungeon is probably stressful. Like, you don't want to die, you don't want to survive that much, you don't want to seem like an exploiter. <sighs> Someone called me an exploiter for one-shotting people before. I was like, no, that takes effort. <laughs> oh gosh, where's the boss? Finally! Like, he didn't have that much health, obviously, since it was just like the two of us. It wasn't that bad. But, um, I was very, very surprised at what we could do in this game, obviously. I am loving the type of RPG type worlds, and simulators are, like, nowhere near the top of the popular list anymore. Like, obviously, the, like, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th place, even. But not 1st, 2nd, 3rd, like, even Jailbreak's gone down, Mad City's gone back up. More of the RPG type games are coming back. So it makes me wonder if games more like Murder Mystery 2 will be coming back very, very soon, and we can try that type of content. I need your help though with what type of content you guys want me to do. I don't know what to do at the moment, so your help is highly appreciated down in the comments below. But boom, Ice Elemental is gone and we have a blue sword and a green wand. Oh man, yet again, no more. Unfortunately, we didn't get any loot from either of those dungeons, but it is okay because we are gonna be keep trying and we're gonna hopefully get a legendary to give away to some of you guys over on the live stream. I'm gonna grind super, super hard for it, but yes. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Also hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every single time I post a video or a stream. I do post daily, so make sure you check back every single day for a brand new video on all different types of games. But thank you so much to the people on the screen right now for being my channel members. If you are not a channel member, you should become a channel member if you wanna get these awesome perks that are showing on the left hand side of the screen. I am doing a public perk for the first time ever to just show you guys what being a perk and what a member is all about. So we are gonna be doing a movie night on March 26th for the My Hero Academia English dub version like premiere. So we're gonna be doing that, so make sure you join in for my perks for that, but yes. 
I hope you guys have a lovely day or night, whatever you guys may be in the world, and I will see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye, guys!